Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder adventure. Today we're headed down to San Antonio, Texas for a visit to the Alamo, one of the most historic sites in the United States as well as definitely in the state of Texas. The Alamo was originally established as a Spanish mission, Mission San Antonio de Padua, in 1718. It was one of several missions in the region built by Spanish colonists to convert indigenous people to Christianity and to help establish Spanish control over the area. In the early 19th century, the mission was secularized, meaning it was no longer used as a religious institution. It became a military outpost for Spanish troops. After Mexico gained its independence from Spain in 1821, the Alamo continued to be used as a military post by Mexican forces. In 1835, tensions between Texas settlers and the Mexican government led to the outbreak of the Texas Revolution. Texan forces, including famous figures like Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie, occupied the Alamo as a defensive position against Mexican forces led by General Antonio Lopez de Santa Anna. During that 1836 battle, the church that were viewing the interior of now played a crucial role as one of the key defensive positions for the Texan defenders. The Texan forces, including famous figures like Davy Crockett and Jim Bowie, made their last stand in and around this church. After the battle, the church and other structures at the Alamo underwent various changes and renovations. At one point, the Alamo served as a U.S. Army Quartermaster Depot warehouse, reflecting its adaptive use over time. In the late 19th century and early 20th century, efforts were made to preserve and restore the church and the Alamo site as a whole, recognizing its historical significance. The church and the surrounding Alamo complex were eventually turned into a memorial to honor the Alamo defenders and their sacrifice. Today, the Alamo stands as a symbol of Texan pride and the struggle for independence. We're now walking outside the Alamo Church itself and taking a look at the long barracks as well as various uh, little statues and plaques that show what the Alamo looked like over the years. The long barracks that we see is one of the oldest structures on the Alamo historic site and its history dates back nearly 300 years to the site's origins as a mission. The Long Barrack originally served as part of the Mission San Antonio de Valero, which was established in the early 18th century as a Spanish mission. Over time, the Long Barracks has changed. During the Battle of uh, 1836, the Battle of Alamo, it was used by both Texan and Mexican for uh, forces and witnessed intense fighting.
just outside the long barracks is this large statue that we've been seeing. It's the Alamo Cenotaph, which is also known as the Alamo Monument or the Spirit of Sacrifice. It's a prominent memorial located here that is that was erected to honor those who died during the 1836 Battle of the Alamo. The Cenotaph was dedicated in 1940 and features a 60-foot tall pink granite shaft with bronze sculptures and inscriptions. The next area we'll wander through is the, in the Alamo Plaza is the Statue of Heroes. Inside this small courtyard are various bronze statues of the heroes of the Alamo. Some of those include such figures as William Barrett Travis, Jim Bowie, John William Smith, and many, many more. In this area of the Alamo, just behind the church, is a living history encampment. As you can tell today, there was not much going on because it was rainy, but normally there are demonstrations and talks by reenactors who talk about the events that happened during the time of the Alamo battle and during time of the missions as well. As we wander around the backside here of the Alamo, we'll take a look at the beautiful gardens. Many of these were planted in the early 1900s during the centennial of the Battle of the Alamo.
I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Alamo. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder. Take care now. Bye-bye.